بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی گو ٹو ٹاک آن اے لٹل بٹ آف اے ڈفرنٹ ٹاپک اینڈ دیٹ از انٹینس کمپٹیشن اینڈ اگریسو بزنس اسٹریٹجی ناؤ اٹ از ان دا 21st سینچری وین وی لک اراؤنڈ دا ورلڈ وی ہیو ایکچولی گون بیونڈ دا گلوبل ولیج اور اے گلوبلائزڈ اپروچ ٹوورڈز بزنس اینڈ ناؤ وی ایکچولی ہیو واٹ وی کال پام بیس اسٹریٹجیز وائی از اٹ پام بیس اسٹریٹجیز بیکاز ویری سمپلی اسپیکنگ وی سی دیٹ دا ورلڈ ناؤ از کنڈینسڈ into the smartphone the whole world is available over there competition marketing retail everything is available on our smartphone the dynamics of business has changed in the 21st century previously we used to see that there had to be a physical presence and now especially after covid what we see is is that the world is moving towards virtual markets virtual competition and again the virtual universe of business and of competition ladies and gentlemen nowadays what we see is is that organizations which cannot compete and which cannot uh, survive they tend to vanquish we have seen huge organizations losing ground just because they could not keep pace with the developments of the world we have seen how xerox uh, was obliterated besides being the fact that it was uh, a pioneer in photocopying we see kodak vanishing even though it was again a pioneer in photography we see nokia ericsson hardly available anywhere we don't see their phones anywhere anymore we don't see ericsson phones anymore where have they gone vanquished why again because the competition is such we are seeing large automobile manufacturers losing ground to new companies like tesla we are seeing them losing ground to chinese manufacturers who have actually taken the lead and have gone into what we call electric based automobiles so that competition again is changing the dynamics of everything climate change is again a new dynamics it is also changing so many other things we have seen how agriculture has changed how food products have changed how uh, the pharmaceutical industry has changed and again how the whole tech and how the whole IT industry has totally changed and what we see which is a common factor is that there is this intense competition and if we don't keep pace with that competition or with developments then definitely we see that people and organizations get out of the market and many such players uh, just like I was mentioning and many more because they do not adopt the right aggressive business strategy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, when we look at the UK and the US, it is understood that the threat of takeover of company is a critical factor in managerial behavior. In countries like Germany, France and Japan, it is understood that the financial institutions like banks act as monitors for the corporate governance. So what we see is that again, uh, this whole trend of westernization uh, where we see the UK and the US uh, having these huge global conglomerates and also the European countries of uh, Germany and France and then when we look at the Far East we have uh, Japan all of them again are transforming and are adopting uh, towards new managerial behavior and why is this taking place is because many uh, new organizations or many new business groups are becoming cash rich and because of that they have the ability to take over other companies and if we look at a book a uh, very interesting book by Mr. Kishore Mahbubani, who was the dean of the Lee Kuan Yew School of Business, uh, Lee, Lee, who was the dean of the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy uh, in, uh, in Singapore, he wrote a very interesting book called Can Asians Think? And again, he basically predicted how all of the global businesses are now moving towards Asia and the Asians are taking over the large uh, companies or taking major majority stakes in these European and American companies. So we are seeing this transformation taking place. Another thing that we are seeing is, is that um, many financiers and many venture capitalists from the Middle East are also now uh, venturing out and trying to take over the management of different companies. And that again is a new factor uh, of competition and also of strategy, which we are seeing emerging on a global scale, especially the shift uh, from the West towards the East. And again, the role of the Middle East and other players uh, in different countries. Competition among the corporations can act 
as the most efficient mechanism for ensuring uh, corporate governance. So again, uh, there's a downside of competition, there's a downside of takeovers, but on the other hand, there is also an upside that it can ensure proper, efficient and effective corporate governance. And that is extremely important. Why? Because what we see is then the stakeholders tend to benefit as a whole rather than being only focused towards the shareholders. Uh, stiff competition in the product market ensures that the management does not avoid its responsibilities even if its internal monitoring is weak. So again, that very essence of ensuring that the management uh, accepts its role, accepts its responsibilities, ensures that there is an environment of integrity, honesty, uh, meritocracy, and also of fair competition, that is extremely important. So when we talk about intense competition, it is also pertinent to mention that it also has to be fair. We cannot see uh, unfair competition or we cannot see corruption prevailing within organizations and we cannot see shortcuts being taken in which uh, there is dereliction of duty or uh, there is uh, an approach towards which uh, various other rights are being infringed or encroached upon and that is not acceptable. So competition with responsibility is extremely important. Competition ensures that the management uh, lethargy is less and less so therefore uh, they have to keep at pace with the developments and therefore they cannot uh, procrastinate, they cannot be lethargic and it can definitely be claimed that competition provides a benchmark for measuring the performance of a company from the inside. So uh, that competition itself is a benchmark. So what we see is, is that even in Pakistan we see that many market leaders have lost their position. Why? Uh, because some other company benchmarked them and then they lost their market share and the other uh, provider, service provider or product provider came, came forward. We are seeing this again in Pakistan's automobile market right now. We are seeing this mushroom growth of automobiles and we are seeing how new manufacturers like Kia for example, like Hyundai, like some of the Chinese companies uh, like MG, they are actually uh, giving a very, very tough competition uh, to uh, the three big ones, the uh, Toyota, uh, Honda and uh, Suzuki. And we are seeing uh, that there are many problems now emerging in these three, uh, the big three uh, brothers of automobile industry in Pakistan, but other companies are benchmarking them and are now uh, taking their position through that intense competition and by providing better services and better products. And that is, again is the essence of moving forward. And they have adopted the right strategy to basically cater to the needs of uh, the consumer and the customer. Competition induces the managers to put greater efforts for the purpose of cost reduction so as to avoid any possibility of being bankrupt. And right now, what we are seeing is, is that uh, this is also emerging. Uh, the pressure of the US dollar in Pakistan has created uh, many new unforeseen factors due to which uh, now many of the, uh, many of the, uh, if, because I'm talking about automobile as an, uh, as an example right now, those automobile companies are closing down and they're having more non-production days and that is now creating a great fissure within the market. And there is a possibility that one of them or two of them might become bankrupt. And that, again, is the very essence of moving forward uh, in what we talk uh, about aggressive business strategies. The range of aggressiveness strategies is classified into four categories, uh, prospector, defender, analyzer, and reactor. A prospector enters new areas of business without much thought. And that is uh, what we have seen again, because I was just giving one example. We've seen how MG basically uh, entered in the, into the market uh, through a lot of products with the intention of becoming a market leader and to improving the market share which MG Motors was able to do except that later on uh, due to uh, supply crunch uh, and supply chain issues uh, that did, was not sustainable but again uh, they are trying to move forward with the same thing and that can also lead to corporate failures which we did see in MG that uh, they did get into a, a slush situation but now again are trying to emerge uh, out of that. A defender strategy basically entails finding and maintaining a secure and relatively stable market, which we see, let us say, in the context of uh, Suzuki. The analyzer is somewhere in between, uh, we can say, let's say, Hyundai and Kia, and they take less risk and make fewer mistakes than a prospector, but are less committed to stability than the defenders. And we are seeing uh, all of these uh, different undulations and indulations in the automobile sector currently in Pakistan. A reactor has no proactive strategy, often, often reacting to events as they occur. They respond only when they are forced to by macro environmental pressures, which we basically are seeing 
uh, what Chota is doing because they were unprepared. The supply chain has been broken. And now, uh, right now in 2022, uh, they are uh, on the brink of collapsing because they reacted and were not proactive uh, in their strategy uh, towards the different market conditions. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is, is that one, we have to be aware of the competition. Two, we have to proactively engage. Three, we have to strategize for the future. Four, we have to see global dynamics and national dynamics. And five, we have to respond to the changing needs and requirements of the consumer and our customers. Thank you so much.